traditional Judaism, or a modern world. That is our motto here at B'nai Jacob Synagogue. I'm Victor Yurecki, the rabbi of B'nai Jacob, and I stand here in front of our Aron HaKodesh, our holy ark in the main sanctuary for a reason. Since B'nai Jacob is not affiliated with any of the main branches of the Jewish faith, newcomers may be confused about who we are and what we're all about. And the answer can be found on the words etched on this ark. On the right side over here, it says, Kehilat B'nai Yaakov, Congregation B'nai Jacob. On the left side, taken from the book of Exodus, it says, Ve'asne Enenu Ukav, and the bush was not consumed. Moses encountered God for the first time when he sees the wondrous sight of a bush that burned but was not consumed. In a beautiful allegorical commentary, our sages teach us that the bush that remains intact in the face of flames may symbolize the people of Israel's extraordinary ability to survive wherever, in the wilderness, in the desert, even in the face of Egyptian oppression. Those words and that image is our symbol here at B'nai Jacob as well. Because in many ways, we are an amazing congregation, surviving and thriving despite being in an isolated Jewish community, away from most major centers of traditional Jewish life. We're a very small congregation, barely 200 families. But we fiercely and proudly maintain tradition. Twice daily services, a complete Saturday morning service, contemporary services, a men's club, a ladies' auxiliary, a Hebrew Kedisha, a burial society, two Jewish cemeteries, and a whole host of almost daily educational programs for both young and old. Since 1894, B'nai Jacob has been the home for traditional Jewish practices in this area fully committed to a philosophy of faithfulness to our religious heritage, but understanding where we live, having a willingness to embrace the modern life. We're like the Jewish people, a bush that cannot be consumed. We're not a reform, a conservative or orthodox congregation. Nothing wrong with those denominations of our faith or those labels. In fact, we're blessed in Charleston to also have a great reform congregation in our community. Each branch of Judaism offers a beautiful facet of our faith. But we here at B'nai Jacob like to broaden our scope and embrace the greatest qualities of all three. We call ourselves traditional because our default button always is traditional practices. But we are willing to broaden that experience and that pivot makes us a little harder to define. So I turn back to the ark and the words Vyasne and Nenu Uka, and the bush was not consumed. Our rabbis of old tell us that for Moses to see a bush on fire was not a miraculous sight. Because of the arid climate, that would not have been uncommon. It was when he saw that it burned and burned and burned and was not consumed that made Moses take notice. To notice that took patience and time, a quality he would need to lead the people in the future. He had to watch that bush burn for quite some time to truly understand what a miraculous vision he was witnessing. And that is my challenge to you. What is B'nai Jacob all about? We can't define ourselves with a label or a soundbite. To understand what we mean by traditional Judaism for a modern world, we invite you to come and fully experience and observe what happens here. Come to a daily minion when mostly men are in attendance and you'll feel you're part of an Orthodox synagogue. We even use the Orthodox Siddur, the Orthodox prayer book. If you come Saturday morning, Shabbat morning, you'll feel you're part of a conservative congregation since men and women are often sitting together in prayer. Come to our Friday night contemporary service, and that feels almost perfect for those who grew up reform and who enjoy English responsive readings and a more contemporary Jewish touch. Join us for the many events where we discuss the issues of the day, like the American-Israel friendship, and you'll find a very proud 
Zionist community. Discover Torah or Talmud class, and to your surprise, you will see like a good Reconstructionist congregation, Jews, Christians, people of no faiths, and lovers of all faiths, studying together the words of our sages here at our synagogue. At any given day downstairs, you may find a woman about to use our ritual bath, the mikvah. At the same time, in the other room, a man on a treadmill in our physical fitness center. Another congregants enjoying our cultural and historical heritage in our magnificent archive room, while another is studying a Torah commentary in our wonderful, beautiful library. All the while, children are playing basketball. In my office, you may see a student learning to conduct the traditional Saturday morning Musaf service, just like his grandfather did 60 years ago here. While upstairs, my wife Marilyn is introducing a new student to her Hebrew class who will be the very first person in her family to ever study Hebrew. The only way one can understand our traditional congregation is like Moses did, watching and patiently observing this wondrous sight. We are a diverse community of Jews, all united in the idea that if we're going to keep the flame of our heritage going, a bush that cannot be consumed, we're going to need a lot of different people to keep it going. The fire that starts it all for us here is our tradition. A willingness to embrace all expressions is what will keep that tradition burning in our congregation. We are traditional Judaism for a modern world. And we hope you'll join us and help add to the glow of this wonderful synagogue.